Y'all, it is always something, okay? Always something. Today was my day off, okay? Now, I had hit up, as you can see, my hair is a mess. I don't care if you say it's not, trust and believe it's a mess, okay? It has not been done, retwisted in a minute, and I need a retwist so I can feel like myself. And my whole thought plan was, Ashley, we're going to get this hair retwisted and fresh and everything, you know, looking decent by the time you go get your surgery next week. Okay. Hit my stylist up a few days ago. He didn't hit me back. Hit him up again. He was like, oh, you know, I'm like, because today my day off, can I come in on Tuesday? Do you got some spots open? He was like, no, I ain't got no spots open. I was like, okay, that's cool. That's fine. But then he hit me up again that same day, finally, and was like, yo, can you come in at 6 p.m.? Okay, and I alert you if anything changes or whatever. And I was like, that's fine. That works for me. Like I said, it's my day off. Okay, um, baby girl. It is 5 o'clock. I texted him at 4 something to see if everything was cool. Didn't get a response back. So I'm assuming that everything is cool. Right? Right. Okay? Fucking wrong. I leave out my house at 525. And mind you, it's a nice day. Baby, it's hoodie weather outside, okay? Listen, the Midwest, we ain't seen weather like this up in Chicago in a long time, okay? After a month of sub-zero fucking freeze going on, bitch, this is every fucking thing. It was almost 50 degrees today, you know? But um, I get up, I get to the shop, the owner of the shop. He was like, hey, girl, what's going on? I was like... Um, I'm looking at the shop and I'm noticing that it's damn near empty. Like, I get there a little bit before 6 o'clock, okay? And he was like, so you ain't talked to your stylist in a minute, huh? I was like, what you mean? I just talked to him. He told me to come up here at 6 o'clock or whatever, you know, to do my hair. And he was like, he don't even work here no more. <laughs> I One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. What the hell do you mean that he don't work? Here? Oh, so he don't work here no more. Well, see, he told me to come up here at six p.m. to do my hair, and he never told me that he went to another shop. He was like, "Well, I thought he would have told all his clients that." I said, "Bitch, he ain't tell me shit." Okay, so I called him in the shop. And he like, yeah, um, you know, I, I tried to text you. I thought I'd text you and told you, you know, um, it ain't going to happen today or whatever to uh, look me up on Thursday. I'm like, no, I didn't get that message. But at the same time, I'm not going to be able to do it Thursday. The only reason why I was doing it today was because it was my day off and I'm working. I ain't getting no day off. And then next week I got surgery. Well, what time you want to do it? And I said, plus they said that you don't even work here no more. What's going on with that? He was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm at the shop like a couple of uh, blocks over or whatever. I'm sitting here like... <laughs> I said, well, could you please send me the address? And let me just tell you this. And I know people going to be up in there. So we hooked it up for a Saturday. Um, like, hopefully I will feel up to it. But my hair really needs to be retwisted. Uh, I'm going to run it through the shower again, you know, just in case. I mean, just because before I go to the uh, surgery or whatever. But I hate when I do my own hair and I run it through the shower or whatever and I wash it myself. Um... <clears throat> It's just, it, 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 it fuzzes up. And, you know, my it, it shows all my new growth and my edges don't lay down and stuff like that. And it just it just looks unkempt to me. And I don't like the unkempt look. I don't like this look right now. I have to be fresh. Okay, I just like looking together. You know what I'm saying? But at this point, I'm just over it. All right? You know, I just been, listen, this is the point where I was just like, you know what? You better be glad. And I know people are like, it's time to get a new stylist. It's time to get a new stylist. But you have to understand, the only reason why I don't get a new stylist at this point is because I'm going, I don't, I'm, it's, it's a lot that's going on over here. And I need one consistent thing in my life right about now, okay? And I do appreciate, and when he does his work, he does his work well, okay? 
So I don't want to, I, I don't have a problem going to another shop. It's just the communication has got to be better. And so I'm going to have to tell him, like, listen, bruh, that was kind of fucked up, okay? Um, I'm trying to give you money to do a service that helps both of us. And the least you could do is make sure that everything is good. You know, he got some personal stuff that's going on. And I said, that's fine. That's well. I understand it. Like, I would be very understanding. Like, everybody got a lot of stuff going on in their life. But you just have to let people know. Okay? Let people know. That's money. That's a client that you could have lost. You could have lost me as a client. And I'm just like, this is crazy. But we'll see what goes on Saturday. You know, hopefully I feel better. I'll be good because y'all know on Monday, well, next Tuesday, yeah, directly next Tuesday in a week, I'll be going to get surgery. So hopefully I feel good enough to leave out the house for a couple of hours and then come back, you know, just to walk around. And it's not strenuous stuff, whatever. So hopefully I'll be okay with that. But baby, I was over it. I was over it. I mean, it was so, I'm just so glad it wasn't on a day that it was extra cold outside. It was extra cold outside. It was a perfect day today. And, you know, I got home before the sun went down. Okay. And I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck is going on? Communication. Okay. Like, y'all, if you are in the hair business or any type of service business and you are booking appointments and stuff like that, please communicate with your clients. And clients, please communicate with your, you know, person that you're working with as well. That shit is a two-way street, okay? We, that, it's called professionalism. It's called professionalism, you know what I'm saying? And good customer service as well, all right? I was like, I cannot believe this, okay? You know, like I said, I don't want to jump him because he does good work. Like, he the one that started my locks off and everything and been keeping them good or whatever and healthy and all that stuff. But he ain't never done no shit like this. I mean, like, never miscommunicated something so important like this to me. So, <sighs> oh, my God, I was just so mad. I, I really thought I was finna, uh... <laughs> I really thought I was about to get on this camera and do my Queen Sugar review and do my over review tonight. Looking good as shit. That probably would have changed my mood or whatever. Because, you know, look, a, a bitch been in her feelings. A bitch just not been the same for a minute. But, listen, it really just bothered me. But, yeah, we got to do better, okay? We got to do better. And I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to have to talk to him. I'm telling nigga, you almost lost me as a client. That could have been a, a, a fireball offense. <laughs> it could have. But, y'all, I just wanted to let y'all know that. Hair Chronicles update, bitch. <sighs> y'all know I hate looking raggedy. And I look raggedy. But, anyway, I'll see y'all later on tonight for Queen Sugar. Peace.